Mama wa kwaba wa fremi ajua setting mesrel na wa subscribe to my channel. Me a notification bell also for more news. First and foremost, let me speak to the Akosombo spillage issue. Um, yesterday, the vice president was there and he made a personal donation of 160,000 Ghana cities. I've seen that uh, one MP, Dafi Amapo, uh, making propaganda out of it, uh, essentially saying that the vice president donated one million to the people of Sierra Leone, but when it comes to the people of Volta region, he's only donated 160,000. <laughs> you see, we, we have a political party that's made it their stock in trade to divide us as a people. Now, when you read his comment, he ends his comment by saying that uh, Vice President Baumia donated less because it is votarians and that this government has made, made it a penchant to discriminate against votarians. That was the same uh, 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 irresponsible comment that uh, Gof uh, Jifa Gomashi also made, that the president has abandoned votarians. Uh, I think it's becoming one too many, that one political party has made it their stock in trade to divide us as a people. And then we are all looking on. But when we respond then we have the, the moral King Kongs in Ghana coming after word? us. Where is the morality when irresponsible people are making irresponsible comments? Fantastic. Like da Dafia Mako, like Jifa Gomashi. These are irresponsible men and women whose modus operandi is to divide the people. And we are looking on and if the president responds, or if I respond, or if a minister responds, then we become the bad people. And you have media houses thinking that it is right to take the president out of contest and set him up for attacks and insults. But I'm glad that the queen mother of Mepe came out yesterday and said that, you know what, what the president said, we, the people of Mepe, had absolutely no issues with it. We were completely fine with what the president said, and we have no issues. But let me state the record straight. Vice President Mahmoud Baumia made a personal donation to the people of Mepe and the people in the region. Vice President Mahmoud Baumia didn't make a personal donation to the people of Sierra Leone. He led a delegation on behalf of the republic. So it was the Republic that made a donation to another sovereign. So how do you compare somebody leading a, a donation uh, for another sovereign to somebody making a personal donation? It speaks to how myopic these people are. You know, so that is for the record. Two, for the record, the spillage didn't affect the people in Volta region alone. It wasn't peculiar to them alone. Exactly. Okay. Greater Accra, people in the Adan area have been affected. Uh, Eastern region. And then also, even here, Savannah, in the Bato Makango, Makango area. Mm. They've all been affected. So why make this whole issue about, yes, you can argue that uh, those who've been affected the most are in the voter region, but why do you make it about voter region and create the impression that somebody is dividing a group? You know, so 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 I think it's hard time that we really set the record straight and hold these uh, irresponsible people accountable. So the president is doing everything. Uh, the government is doing everything, VRA, NADMO, to make sure we bring reprieve to the people who have been affected quite an unfortunate instance but we are doing everything we have an interministerial committee overlooking the whole issue to make sure we can solve it uh, people have mooted the idea that maybe they should be relocated but the people there yeah but the people there are saying that no they yeah they want to they want the water to recede so they can keep their lands 
I'm also happy to announce that the Minister of Agriculture has committed $40 million to, to revive the, the farms, etc., that have been destroyed. So government is doing everything from all angles to ensure that we bring life back to the people in, in the affected communities. Then also to talk about uh, IMF. We all know that we've gone through some economic challenges and fortunately we, we went to the IMF for support. The first tranche came in May. The second tranche is supposed to come in November. Uh, the, the IMF and the ministry did a joint press conference to announce to the people uh, the process that thus far. And so far, so good. We've seen uh, a decline in the inflation rate. Uh, we've seen a decline in petrol prices. We've seen stabili stability of the city, etc. Even projected growth rate. Uh, we've seen it grow far beyond what we expected. And we've also are engaging the external creditors to ensure that we get some haircuts on our external debt to give us more room to be able to operate. So on the IMF score, government is doing everything possible to ensure that, God willing, next month, the second tranche will come in to further shore up our, our reserves. Once our reserves are properly shored up, you see the CD picking up even more uh, on that score as well. And then lastly, um, the government is also working on the planting for food and jobs uh, phase two. Um, as you know, the first part of the planting for food and jobs was subsidy based. So government was offering subsidy to the farmers. The second phase, which is planting for food and jobs phase two, is going to focus on input credit. So the difference is that in the first phase, a farmer has his land and some resources, and then the government will provide input, um, will provide subsidy, maybe it's fertilizer subsidy or seedlings, whatever. But in this case, the government is saying that all the farmer needs is a land, and the government will offer all the inputs. Not the government per se, but the government has identified private agencies who will be responsible to partner the farmer, and the private agency will provide all the inputs. So the farmer just needs a land. Once you have your land, the clearing of the land, the fertilizer, the chemicals you need, the improved seedlings you need, all of that will be provided by the agency. Mm. The agency will then quantify all of it into an amount. Okay, but quite cra nini na yeden kani ako a hand no telecommunications. Be be an was and co timid lines and some mamu, ya ye internet, unko sense be aso in ya call. Unko tari will be ka unko ya call. Wanya mamu da former president Nikuro Muni Wanya Mamu Dan Pacho NPP time Extension of MTN Mandari completed network in so nyine biaso. Extension oh savanna phone how or you'll be phone. Oh extension of MTN na MTN for project I ye do coupe di di pa di pa di pa cha che maluwe ni nyina ya ya sanitation 16 seater uh, water closet toilet eh the only dia be sia sia no asevela o toilet kakra no pa be kono be sevela enya no bia ya ye wc e dia mo mo me me pass symbol ongoing enu ye guso